Okay, folks. Like I said in one of the other videos, I've been on this earth 70 years, and that's not bragging rights. I know there's a lot of young people that, many who are insulted when a person says they lived a long time and they should know better. But the only thing I can say is that I haven't tried to deceive myself. And I rarely try to deceive other people. That's why I'm going to do, if I live long enough, an uh, autobiography on my blog and also on a video. I'm not ashamed of anything that I've done, though I am ashamed of a lot of people I know. Because to me, it seems like they're liars and duplistic double dealing. They say one thing publicly and they do another thing privately. I can be accused of that also, but if I am accused of it, it's because there are other reasons that take too long to explain. For example, I want you to look at this book. This is a book on brain, right? And right now, with the security issues that this country has, brain function and psychology should be very important for national security. All the way back in the 1940s, you can look at some of the old films from Hollywood on security matters, spies and counter spies. And certainly by the 1950s with the Manchurian Candidate, that narco-hypnosis can induce, can make people see things and think things that they otherwise wouldn't do. They can act against their morality. And that's very important. Also, if we want this country and the world, for that matter, to be better, we should study the brain and our emotions and how they affect the brain. Because there are chemicals, whether you're talking about estrogen or testosterone or any other chemicals that run through the body, can affect your thinking. And the government knows this. And there's still ongoing research about brain activity. So never forget that when you hear about a crime or you hear about somebody doing something that's unethical, or somebody who is eccentric and does something strange or peculiar. They might be acting under duress. They might be under compulsion. There might be some secret reason why they're acting the way they're doing, against their better judgment, against their conscious mind, against their morals, and against their ethics. I don't pretend to know. Everything I know I get from books that you can, anybody can buy at a bookstore. I don't pretend to know. I get things from the internet. I don't have any secret, and I certainly don't want to know about any government secret. All I can say is that if you're an intelligent person and worried about this country and the politics in this country, you should think about the brain and psychology and the way the brain affects people in their thinking. And also, if we're going to have a war, which seems most likely, I want you to hear this old song from the early part of the uh, 20th century. This was an old song right after World War or during World War or during World War I. Sorry, there's dust on the needle. Yeah, that shows where I'm coming from. Jesus. I don't know. I don't know where the fucking... Uh, Oh, there it is. 
I can't see it. It's too fucking dark. Well, I guess that does that. I can't believe this fucking house. No wonder Mrs. Claypool was fucking nuts.